so I thought that I was taping before, but apparently I wasn't. So I showed a few, did a few things on here that I wanted to show. Um, namely, this back area here, this this uh, uh, louvered vent, kind of reminiscent of the snow speeder, the back of the snow speeder. Um, basically, it was really just T tracks glued on a piece of styrene and then shaped and cut to fit inside of this this area and then sanded down so that it was like nice and rounded like this and then what I did was I cut slots in the middle here drills with a drill and went through and just cut it away cut it away and then sanded it away so they're nice and flush and flat and they work um what i showed in the prior video was that with I, this is now glued in so i can't really show you what i did um i if you can see there's a film behind there it's a um yeah i used a, a milk bottle cut it off to diffuse the light a little bit okay but the problem was I still saw circular bulbs through that diffused light. I didn't want that. I mean, it looks good in some situations, but I didn't want that. So I wanted it to be more diffused. So I don't even remember where I saw this before, but I saw it on a video somewhere where you just take, um, this is from a, this is like, I don't know what the heck is it, material it is. It's cotton. Like, um, I took an old pillow and cut it open and, Took this out, stuffed it inside there, put on the grill, and um, glued it in. You can still see some of the stuff on the side there, which I have to put. I'm planning on closing that up and doing something there. Um, but what it does is it, it diffuses the bulbs pretty good. Um, you get you don't get as harsh of a of a bulb look on there, and it's more a solid light. It turned out pretty good, I think. Um, I'm happy with it uh, so far. Um, and I think, I, I don't remember if I showed before. I don't know. I'll have to go through the video. Um, but I cut these T-strips, these uh, angles, and put them on the back here so that it looks much more like this. Um, that's what I'm going for. Okay, so I can show you what I've done on the front, though. So, okay, this comes out. Opening, right? Cut it, it's, I, I made these these two pieces that go together. Gives you that hexagonal shape, not hexagon, but Jason told me what it was, but I don't remember. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted like, like the front end of a bumper where it has the air intake and then, um, you know, there's an opening and then there's mesh behind it. So what I did was I glued a bunch of styrene together. Okay. Shaped them. Shaped these, these here, these pieces here. Made sure they fit inside there. And then I glued this piece on front. So that when I do put this together, it, it will make the, it'll, it'll make this go out a little further. And I can sand this flush. And then... I plan on um, even even like shaving like these make it more faceted like a diamond um, another facet right there to make take away that squareness of it and it's gonna get cut like 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 so and shaped down like that. Um, it also hides your imperfection, okay? So, like this piece, I actually made it a little shorter. But now that I have this, I can shave this down, right? Like this in here. Well, these are gonna, these these greeblies are gonna get taken off because I changed my mind about uh, this was figured this to do this later on in the build. But it also will flatten out what I didn't have straight right there. Oh, come on, focus. Um, it wasn't straight so like that 
it goes to there and it may even put like a slight angle on that so it's more it's angled more like this so that's what I'm doing now I'm about to get out the Dremel and shape this a little better and then behind this it's not just going to be an open hole, it's going to be cool shade. Well, almost cool shade. I can't get real, uh, real cool shades are real expensive. But so I cut um, a Hasbro TIE Fighter um, toy wing. I cut a little piece out and then that's going to go behind there and um, give you the illusion of cool wing, cool cool shade. I know cool shade is actually wider, but it gives you the basic pattern, basic pattern. You know, just just not gonna see much of it, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, and I think that'll turn out pretty good looking like so. So, and <clears throat> the other thing I was thinking about was what I was gonna do on the side here. Um, to cover up those seams and to dress this up a little bit because the pods actually come to this line they actually go all the way to this line so what I may do is on the um, on the drawing there's a whale a flying whale so I thought alright well what if I just like make like just like a a shape out of styrene and raise it a little bit so that it looks sort of like the whale sh the whale um just a very very subtle subtle um raised area nothing really all that noticeable but just a little extra artistic design in 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 macquarie's picture to give it <clears throat> to give it that that sort of uh painting look you know um See if we can get this to go back down so you can see it better. There we go. Um, yeah, give you those wings a little bit. I think that'll look pretty good. Now that it's drawn on there, I was kind of hesitant in thinking what I wanted to do, but I think that will actually look pretty damn decent. Yeah. So, that's where I so far. Uh, you know what? I may just pause this and uh, get get the pods and just see what that looks like with it on there. Um. Sorry about that, but um, I really jumped ahead a lot. Um, uh, I tried to remember to, to video some of this, but I really just get so caught up in things and get my mind just starts racing all right let's do this let's do that and uh you know time's always very undervalued but it's it's a hard thing to come by uh, sometimes um so what we're at now is i put the cockpits in okay i'll, I'll show you what i did i'll flip them over in a minute um i puttied around not puttied i'm sorry epoxied around the outside edge just to keep it solidly in there and then um, the pilot on the other side he's glued down but then I drilled a hole through the seat into his butt <laughs> and I put a piece of wire in with more epoxy so that you know just in case the glue doesn't hold the epoxy will hold because it'd be awful if I sent this and the pilot came flying out or the helmet came off or the arms came off um, and then what I did here I should have showed it before I did all this <clears throat> um, on the front here is a, a view screen you know showed on the other side in front of the the pilot and I wanted it to light up so I built this little box out of styrene to house the lighting so it doesn't the lighting doesn't go out into this open cavity um, and it only comes out the screen on the inside of the cockpit so I built a little box just out of styrene glued it on and then drilled a hole 
into the uh, you know styrene to put the LED, um, and then I honestly duct tape, which is pretty freaking strong, uh, duct taped around it so that there was no light coming out of any cracks or seams that you know I didn't get exactly tight. Um, and also with the LED, I used this quick setting Elmer's glue. It's speed bond. It's like Elmer's glue, but it's a lot faster drying and works really great. Um, that's pretty much dry now. Sorry. Oops. Um, that could be on one of, that could be on a blooper like John Simmons had. Um, so yeah, this is the inside and then on for the pilots, what I did was, these are, are the cast pilots from the Lassie Henning kit. And what I did was I just shaved the helmet down and sculpted it to my needs. Um, and changed it a little bit, got rid of some of the extra decorations on the suit. I wanted a very plain, very workmanlike. Um, um, and of course, gotta love the mustache guy. Uh, like I said, this thing's in there solid. Um, and with the head and the arms, I also drilled holes and put um, a wire through with epoxy so that they won't come off. Now, what I forgot to do was I need to miss these with foundation to kind of make them look older and dust settled, but I have to tape all this up because I should have did it before I put the pilot in. Um, man, on the video, the, the skin color looks very, very yellowy. Let's see if we can change that. Uh, no, can't change that. Oh well. In real life, it's very pinkish and actually pretty damn close to um, to a uh, skin color. So that's, that should be dry. Oh, uh, it's not dry enough, it came out. Gosh darn it. I waited, don't wait just too quickly. Did that too quick. Now I gotta clean off and re-glue it. Sometimes you get impatient and don't do things, wait, like I know I don't. I uh, am impatient, so I glue it. And if it's close, I'm like, all right, it's close enough. I'll just, I'll work with it. Ends up not being close enough. And like you see, it came out. So I just put a little, well, you can see this then. I put a little dab in there. And then I use a toothpick, which I go through hundreds of toothpicks. They're freaking great for this. It's getting close, like, like hard to get to places and just move things around like glue and the pelling glue and stuff. Damn it, I gotta let that sit longer. Um, yeah, patience, I guess. Jason says I am not, my wife says I am not as well. So I think I have plenty, but what do they know? Um, so that's, oh, 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 yeah. Um, we have the, and this lighting sucks. Okay, let me see if I can change it with this. There we go, that's better. ISO. We have this already. We added some pipe work, some more greeblies on the front there, on the bottom. We put more chan um, facets on the front here, give it more of a sleeker angled look. It was pretty honking and in your face and big and blocky before but now it's like there's chan there's um, facets on the like a diamond um, we extended these a little bit added some kit parts there too to kind of break it up a little bit I don't know maybe overkill but I like it um, next we're gonna as soon as that dries we're gonna put it all together put the bottoms on screw them down I have to try to remember where I put the damn screws. Um, I know I saved them. We, what always happens with me is I save them in a place where I'm not going to forget where they are, and then I forget where they are. So, 
Here, we'll put the ends on, screw them down, and then put the tops on. Well, connect these wires first, but put the tops on and, and um, epoxy those real good so they can't come off. And then it's just a little bit of, uh, a tiny little bit of um, weathering, not a lot, a uh, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of misting. I don't if I, I feel like if I do too much misting, it's gonna, um, it's going to, oh, I'll show you. So here's the blue. Here's, I misted it with some grays and it kind of took away some of the color. I, I, didn't, I don't really like it that much. So I tried a bunch of different grays, you know, SP lettering, grime, um, even even the color that I'm doing the middle with, which is the reefer gray light, and that didn't turn out so good. So I, I used, got this styrene, sprayed it with this, the, the blue, and I'm gonna play around a little bit and see what kind of, what kind of tones look good on there and missed it. So that's, yeah, that's a big difference, holy crap. From that to that, definitely don't wanna mess that up. Hell no. Okay. I don't really want to paint this over again. Um, that's where we're at now. I think the next video will be the final one. And then I think... I'm not really sure what I'm moving on to. Maybe some sand crawlers. Like I said, I want to do two or three sand crawlers. And... Um, at a, at a time, run do a run of them. Uh, if anybody's interested, let me know. I have two people kind of interested in, on, on their way to, to making it happen. Um, and also, I want to do this. Got this beauty from John Simmons. He sent me oh, Moncal. I love the Moncal ships. I don't know why, but I really, really do. I flip it over, but I just epoxied the the um, mount underneath, so it can be done. This is the tan one with the wings. I like both of them. I like home one. Home one doesn't have the wings. I don't know what this one's called, but this is the other one. This is going to go nicely with my um, my little my my shelf with all the background ships. Um, not a whole lot to do. I probably just have to like scribe it a little bit on the edge here where it's seamed. But um, it's not completely accurate, but it's close enough. It's, it's, it's an older kit. I don't even know who made it or John probably told me at some point, but don't really remember. But this will be fun. This is something I want to do. I don't know why there's a shadow that's driving me nuts. Okay, so that's where we're at, and um, I got a lot of, actually I have a lot of projects going right now, I'm going to just show a couple of them, just quickly, just show a couple. Alright, so I have um, both pilots in and one is just painted with normal colors and the other one was misted with foundation man you can, it really looks like all yellowish in the video i don't know if i can show this better um this one i misted with foundation which gives it more of a dusty old look i don't know if it shows up on camera or not but hopefully it does. Um, then what I do is I turn the turn the uh, pressure down low and put in some foundation with you know a little bit of pretty thin down and just like spray it so it like shoots and lands down on it like like snowflakes just like this drop on it. Good little tip I got from John. Um, I hope you can see it in the video in the video, but it's. It's, it's not much, but it's enough to take to make it less stark. 
like I think this one, this one, hopefully you can see it in the video. It's just like real stark and colors. And, and then this one has like a dusty look to it. So we did one and I'm gonna do the other one and go from there. Just wanted to show that, hopefully it shows up. I don't know if it will or not. I'll look on when I edit it. I have the top and the bottom is glued, okay, um, just spot glued with some CA glue, uh, but I want it to be stronger and not come apart for any reason, or um, I just put a little bit of glue on the edges and put it together, made sure all the edges were formed right, and then I taped taped it real tight so that it would hold together um, and not separate while while I was gluing it. Um, but now I'm gonna put some epoxy in and let it let it run down the seam and then to the front. Um, I'm gonna do all four quarters. I'm gonna do this and this here, 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 here so that there's epoxy covering both edges um, to uh, get a good bond and just um, probably overkill, but whatever. Um, I'm just gonna like mix it up and take a, take a popsicle stick and just smush it right on the side there and let it drip. And then I'm gonna move it, manipulate it and move it around so that it lays where I want it to lay. This is five minute epoxy. So it goes pretty quick. Um, uh, not as quick as five minutes, but uh, it definitely works real good. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And there we go. All right, so I'll just hopefully not get it dripped all over the place because you have to like spin it just so it doesn't like drip as you're doing it. And really, I'm just gonna load it up in there and let it drip to the front and then manipulate coming back. I'm not real worried about it. Just, I'm actually getting on this ledge here. The last one, I put it on a different ledge and it um, I put a, a brace in the middle and I wish I'd remember to do that this time, but I didn't, I forgot. So, and there's an edge in there, I gotta get it past once once I get it in. Um, I did this before on the other cloud car and it seemed to work pretty good. So we're gonna do it again on this one. Held it real good and worked out beautifully. So, and we'll have to repeat this four times. No, eight times. Because each, each side's got to be done. And wait five minutes for it to dry. Let me get a flashlight so I can see where this stuff's going. It's not going down so great. There's that stupid little ledge that it's getting caught on. And it probably is all collected in the front. Oh yeah, right on good. Get it coming down. Hopefully. Sorry if I can't see this. You can't see this, but you gotta kind of manipulate it how it goes. Maybe. It is actually just hard to see because it's clear. So we may even be able to get it to go this way a little bit if we're completely dries. Probably can't see that on the video, I'm sure, but I have to do this. And once I get it close, 
I'll show you. Let me just see where it's at and then I'll put it down and let it dry. Okay, we got the front. It's not quite good on the side there. So let's get it to come down a little bit. Just let gravity take it. Uh, this hopefully works. I don't really want to put another bunch in there. Already got to do it eight times, so. Oh yeah, there it goes. I see it, it's working. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's real good. I just wanted to roll back this way a little. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna do this eight times for each quarter. It's a little time consuming, but it's worth it. And it will be a lot stronger and not come apart, at least I hope. But this has been a really fun one. Oh, it's still rolling. Okay, good, we get to come back here. So maybe I can get it in this bottom corner a little bit, maybe. It still rolls a little. Just watch it. It's rolling. Okay, help for a little bit. Starting to harden, so it's not gonna roll as much. And you can't hear it because I got a flashlight in my mouth. <laughs> it's not rolling so good because it got starting to harden a little bit, but we'll get it. So long as it's mostly taken care of. do so much on the opposite side. All right. Yeah, baby. I think we got a winner. Uh, let's take this out of view a little bit. I mean, I had the best camera angle for this, but whatever. It worked. All right, now we just want it to dry. I'd like to keep oh I can feel the heat coming through the the resin from the chemical reaction of it of it hardening. You can actually feel that. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so I'll do this eight times and then I will do kind of the same thing. I'll put some epoxy on this side in this ledge and then put the bottom on, tape it, and then lay it flat so that the epoxy rolls onto the bottom panel. Still can't quite figure out how I'm gonna paint the middle section a little bit. It's gonna be gray, but um, there's gonna be some different, different, I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. I'm gonna play with it, play with some colors and see what works the best. Like, and on the front, on the blue here, I still gotta figure out how I'm gonna like what color I'm going to use to shade panels and, and um, I can't use the normal letter SP lettering and and um, grime and grays like that because it hazes this blue it didn't come out so good which I think I already showed in a video and I'm going to feel the heat through that so that's working good so yeah, all right, well, that's pretty good so far. I'll do this eight times and then we'll put the bottom on and see where we're at there. All right, it's done. Uh, this was a lot of fun to do. Um, a lot of fun scratch building. It, uh, there we go. It's hard to tell in video because doesn't really show the weathering very good, especially seeing as how I went light on the weathering because it is a Macquarie piece. The Macquarie didn't really weather very much. It's pretty clean. Um, I 
think that the whale wings turn out pretty good. Um, back. Let's see. Lighting. Oh, that lights up. And. Yeah, hopefully it comes out good on video. It looks better in person. Um, you can actually see some of the weathering. I'm going to try to take some good pictures, but you never know. I'm not very good at this this uh, camera yet, so flip it over, show you the bottom. The weathering looks a little harsh in the video, but it's not quite that not quite that hard. source. Yeah, this video ain't turned out so good, but oh well. It shows it. Pictures hopefully will be better. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. It's going to my friend's room. Um, and uh, just cool to have something that I built in his collection. He's got an amazing collection. So, I'm actually going to grab the orange one and try to do a little bit of comparison. There we go. That looks pretty cool next to each other. This one is going to Christian in the hyperdrive. And this one is going to Joseph. So, if you look at the, look at the back. These are flat, and the orange ones have the spoiler a little raised. Pilots, almost the same, except I shaved off a bunch of the helmet, or the Macquarie one. Yeah, again, it's weird because video shows these uh, these uh, streaks darker than they really are. They're really, not really that dark. Um, pretty cool having them side by side. Thanks, Christian, for allowing me to hold on to the orange one until until uh, I had the blue one done that I could show them together. Um, I think, I think, I didn't want to add too much to take, I didn't want to add too much weathering to the middle because I just wanted to focus on the blue and uh, yeah, done with this build, I've just got to build the um, base and uh, That's right, because it's got the headrest. The other one don't have the headrest. But yeah, this is a great kit made by Lassie Henning. And um, very well done, very easy to do. Not hardly any cleanup, which is freaking great. I love that. Um, yeah. I like these, these details on the inside here. You can probably see it better over here. And, you know, in the drawing, it looks like there is an orange stripe on the back of the helmet. I don't know if this is meant to be an orange stripe on the back of the helmet or not, but it kind of looks like it to me. So, I put it on. On both of them. I like it. So, thanks for watching, bro, guys. Um, really don't know what I'm doing next we shall see I may start back on my sand crawler or I may work on John's indoor ship um, I may be selling a few things 
uh, namely an X-Wing, a uh, Sandcrawler, and possibly a Slave One. So we shall see. But um, hey, check on the check on the group if you're interested. Hit me up. Thanks.